Hello, I'm gonna show you how I clean my hummingbird feeder. When I bring it in, I empty the old ne nectar out of it and I give it a good rinse with hot water. Then I take dish soap that I put on a sponge and I put it into the feeder, into the tray, and on the part that has the flowers. I take a brush and I thoroughly clean every bit of this, paying attention to the flowers so that they're completely clean and free of any kind of mold or debris or anything, both inside and out. I take a small brush and I clean the little holes in the flowers so that there's nothing left behind. If these get moldy, they can transfer the mold to the hummingbird's beak and it can cause them a lot of harm. So make sure that these holes are very clean. Then I clean the tray. As thoroughly as I can in every part of it, including the part where the hummingbird's perch, if it has a perch top and bottom. Then I clean the feeder, focusing on every part of it so that I don't leave anything behind. You wanna make sure you get this very clean so that it's ready for another few days. And I clean the part where they screw together and the outside of it. Then I give it a good rinse with hot water, making sure that I rinse off all soap residue. It is suggested that you clean your hummingbird feeders every one to four days, depending on how hot it is outside. As the summer comes and it gets hotter, you may need to clean them more frequently. And if you ever see cloudy water or mold starting to grow on it, clean it immediately. And I'll rinse every bit of it, making sure all soap residue is rinsed off. Now it's ready to fill with a nectar that I prepared with one part sugar, four parts water. Fill the, fill the feeder, assemble it, and now it's ready for your hummingbirds.